Hi, this is Lisa Johnson for Diet.com, and today we're going to talk about burning off those calories from your 4th of July barbecue. 4th of July is great. We get together with friends and family. We have an excellent time. There's beer, there's corn on the cob, there's watermelon, potato salad, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, all kinds of really tasty treats that are really high calorie. Okay, maybe not the watermelon, but pretty much everything else. So, how much do you need to burn off to get rid of that barbecue meal? Well, I have done all the math for you. All you have to do is run around like a crazy person on 4th of July and you won't gain any weight. Let's run the numbers, but remember, the calorie count that I'm giving you might differ from what you're eating depending on how healthy or not healthy your family likes to eat. So a typical cheeseburger, 420 calories. Typical hot dog, 250 calories. One cup, which is not very big, one cup of potato salad, 368 calories. That is a lot of mayonnaise. <laughs> a beer is roughly 140 calories. Yes, there's definitely some diet beers out there. And a cup of nice, cool watermelon is only 46 calories. Definitely the best choice of the bunch. If you decided to eat everything from cheeseburger down to watermelon, you're gonna have over 1,200 calories on your plate. That is definitely a lot that you're gonna have to burn off. So. Let's talk about how to do it. For the typical 150 pound person, how many calories do they burn in 10 minutes doing the following activities? Well, the two jackpot activities for the typical barbecue are frisbee and volleyball. If you play frisbee kind of aggressi aggressively and really go after the volleyball, you're gonna burn about 95 calories in 10 minutes. So for that 1200 calorie meal, you're gonna need to play for two hours. <laughs> That's not too much, is it? Yeah, I thought so. Say you decide to take a nice stroll with your Aunt Edna after your picnic. Well, that only burns about 30 calories in 10 minutes. So you're gonna be walking for a pretty long time to get that whole meal off of you. Kids, kids at barbecues, they're constantly running around like crazy. Hey, what if you join them? You can definitely burn some calories that way. Well, if you decide to play catch, you're really not moving that much. That's only about 30 calories in a 10 minute period. But if you wanna get down and really play with the kids, kinda of wrestle with them, run around and play with them, that's gonna burn twice as much, about 60 calories in a 10 minute period. The most important thing for this 4th of July is to actually relax and enjoy yourself, spend time with your friends and family. What I suggest you do is pick one or two treats, something you don't normally have for yourself, and enjoy them, have a great time. And then later on in the day, just try to move a little bit more. You'll be fine, it'll all come out in the wash. This is Lisa Johnson for diet.com. There are a ton of great videos all over the site, so definitely check them out. And happy 4th of July, everybody. Go America.